Hello everyone, welcome back to a new session. Today I will be teaching the lesson and the topic collective nouns. What is a collective noun? Does anybody know? Now we have learned previously about nouns. A noun is the name of a person, place, animal or thing. Now we also have learned about common and proper nouns. So, a common noun starts with a small letter and it is common to everything and our surroundings and the environment in which we live in and to things which we use in our day-to-day -day life. A proper noun is a noun which starts with a capital letter. It is given a special name to people, animals, things, days, festivals, months, weeks. Special names give a name to a common name. So now today we will start collective nouns. Children, a collective noun is a name given to a collection or number of people, animals or things. Here are some examples of collective nouns. Now I will explain and make you understand. Now let us start with people. A band of men. Why do we call them a band of men? A band is a, a term used for musicians. So, people playing uh, a band in a music choir group are called a band of men. During wedding ceremonies or special festivals, people play in groups. And those artists who are playing in groups are called a band of men. A crowd of people. A crowd exemplifies a group of people more than 10 to 12, it may be in thousands, making a huge crowd around a busy street, a market or a theater or any place is called a group of people is called a crowd. Now a cast of actors, people in the television and film industry. Those people who are in art, drama, theater, they are called cast. Cast why? Because they work together on the same, on the same topic, on the same production. They are doing nothing different but acting. So they are called a cast of actors. A sentence of judges. A sentence of judges means... In a court, there are judges, there are lawyers, there are advocates. Those people in working in these fields are called sentence of judges. A group of judges, a sentence of judges. A galaxy of beauties. A galaxy of beauties is in terms of models, those who are participating in pageants, beauty pageants. So they are called a galaxy of beauties. A choir of singers. A group of singers singing in a choir are called choir. They sing together. A bevy of girls. A bevy of girls is like a group of girls. So it is called a bevy. A crew of sailors. People who sail on the water like the navy, the marine crops. They all are in the same crew. They are called crew. Crew of sailors. A class of pupils. People studying in school in respective to their own class. The students in the classroom are called pupils. So they are a class of pupils. A gang of thieves. A gang of thieves in respective to those who are those who steal a mafia gang like Dawood. 
there are many other gangs but this is in term referred to a gang of thieves those who steal a staff of employees a staff of employees is subject to those working in institutions companies and uh, schools so people who are working in this field are called a staff of employees a circle of friends everybody has a few good friends and those friends become a circle so we call them a circle of friends a board of directors in any company in any management in any institution or school we have a management in our school the management is a molser and so known as sir in respective to our principal respected akshata ma'am and they are the managing directors or the board of directors okay now next a caravan of travelers people traveling by uh, camel carts bullock carts they are called caravan of tra travelers they travel together in groups uh, along across deserts across states by these caravans a caravan is uh, also called a vehicle in which travelers travel sleep eat till they get to their required destination now we have completed a few of the uh, collective nouns given for people let us go on to animals there are some collective nouns for animals a colony of gulls what are gulls actually children gulls are sea gulls do you see on the beaches they are white birds they are called sea gulls and you call them a colony of gulls a brood of hens a group of hens a collective noun for hens is called a brood a flight of birds all the birds which flock together they are called a flight of birds okay a flock of turkeys turkey is also an english bird uh turkeys are basically from the united states they are used in the festival they are eaten in the festival of thanksgiving a flock of turkeys a group of guinea pigs guinea pigs are small pigs uh they are a species or a type of small uh, but cute rats they are called guinea pigs so they are found in groups a litter of cubs a litter of cubs or a litter of puppies also you can say they are called litter a kennel of dogs kennel is where many dogs stay together and they call it the kennel of dogs a sloth of bears a group of bears is called a sloth a cluster of spiders cluster of spiders means the small spiders which are in move around and stay together in groups an army of ants an army of ants an army of ants why do you call it children an army of ants because our an army walks rather marches so like when in an army soldiers are marching in a particular manner they replicate ants so ants also replicate soldiers so they march like an army so that is why they called army of ants a hive of bees bees live in hives and they also live in colonies so they are called a hive of bees a train of camels a train of camels camels walk one behind the other like a train a train has many bogies which uh, are attached to each other one by one and they follow each other like like a chain so it is called a train of camels a tribe of goats a tribe of goats refers to goats uh, in groups so they are called tribe of goats a zoo of wild animals 
in the zoo you find many species of wild animals birds and other aquatic and non aquatic animals so they all live in a particular place together called a zoo so it's called a zoo of wild animals a nest of mice mice cluster uh, jointly and very closely to each other so it is called a nest of mice a herd of cattle when you see a shepherdess or a shepherd herding cattle that means they are gathering cattle together and cattle move together in a group so they are called a herd of cattle a nest of mice a nest of mice a nest of mice is the same as a nest of mice is the same again once again that they uh, stay in groups so that group which they cluster together is called a nest of mice a troop of lions a lion is always in a troop he never leaves his troop they have their own containment and their own areas so they are called a troop of lions let us now children move on to the collective nouns for things a batch of cakes a box of cereal cereal is what like a uh, cereal like chocos or uh, in the morning we have breakfast that the breakfast which is of dry legumes are called cereal a can of soda a carton of milk a bowl of rice a forest of trees a packet of letters a pack of cards a pack of cards can also be called a deck of cards a group of islands a clump of bushes a library of books a fleet of ships a cloud of dust a cloud of dust what does it mean does it mean the cloud comes down no it means the dust is heaped like a like a cluster of cloud and when you just blow it it's it separates a galaxy of stars a hand of bananas bananas why does it look does it mean a hand it looks like a hand yes that's why it's called a hand of bananas a stack of books a heap of leaves a catalog of prices what does a catalog mean when we order or purchase something online a price list comes a price list for everything we see in a magazine or a catalog so the things which we buy online or offline or cannot go to the store we find in a catalog so it is called a catalog of prices or it can be a catalog of pictures a bunch of keys a bouquet of flowers what does bouquet mean a bouquet means a collection of flowers now children since we've learned examples of collective nouns irrespective to people animals and things we will now go on to common collective noun names given to a particular group so what is common collective names given to a particular group mean that this certain collective noun can be used to define many other common nouns okay such as flight flight can be used for birds steps steps means the stairs on a ladder or stairs going up to your house or pigeons pigeons are also birds so we can uh, say flight for flight of birds flight of steps flight of stairs and flight of pigeons flock flock can be referred to as goats sheep and tourist herd a herd of cattle a, ca a herd of antelopes antelopes are wild mountain deer though they are mostly found in the himalayas so these are antelopes herd of antelopes horses buffaloes cows deer and zebra litter litter will be referred to as pups 
kittens and cubs pack pack is referred to wolves dogs or cats pride pride of lions or peacocks school a school of fish a school of whale a school of shark aquatic animals are usually termed by school team team of players horses players can be referred to as football players rugby players or any sports insects swarm any of the above insects bees ants butterflies in general swarm of insects swarm of bees swarm of ants and swarm of butterflies now children i would like you to take your book and i would like you to write in your notebook what is a collective noun write the answer for the collective noun in respective to the examples which are given accordingly for people animals things and also the common collective nouns given to a particular group i want you to write this in your notebook and learn this properly i will be giving you a worksheet in which you will use the chart to complete it i hope you like this session thank you